Hi there, Farouk here at Direct Up, and today we got a fundamental problem that you must know for your civil and environmental FE exam. So what I want you to do for this one is pause the video, read that problem statement slow, know what you're given, and really know what you're trying to find. Then go ahead and solve this on your own. If you get it right, that's great. If you get it wrong or get stuck, that's also excellent. That's great. That's what we need to do. We need to discover questions. To, we need to see where we got stuck and we need to struggle through problems. That's going to prep your brain to really engage with the material and to really learn the material because you're naturally asking questions and you're tossing ideas around in your head. Always do that and always try these problems on your own. So go ahead, do it for this one. Then you can check your solution with mine. So let me do this, assuming you already tried this. If you got it right, that's good. This is the solution I'm gonna apply. Maybe yours is a little different. So long as you get that final answer correct, that's great and it makes sense to you, you're on the right track. So we know here we have a wastewater plant and it's discharges. 2 MGD of effluent having an ultimate BOD of 40 milligram per liter into a river flowing at 20 cubic feet per second. So already I see stuff going on. We have a wastewater plant and it's discharges. This 2 MGD is million gallon per day and it's actually a flow. Million gallon is the volume per day. It's flow rate and it's an effluent. It's at the exit. And it has an ultimate BOD of 40 milligram per liter at the very end when we treat it. That's what exits into a river that flows at 20 cubic feet per second. So talking about it is not just enough. We have to visualize this. So I do want you to visualize this maybe in your head or maybe draw a picture. So I want you to draw pictures whether in your head or on paper. On paper is the best way. So that's what we'll do in this case. So we're going to start with the given and we're going to visualize that wastewater plant discharges effluent. So already I see key terms. Effluent means the exit of the pipe after the wastewater. So let's say we have a wastewater plant and after that treatment, primary, secondary, and then we exit at the effluent, we have an effluent pipe. So let's say this is my effluent pipe right here. And that effluent pipe is going to discharge that BOD and that wastewater. So let me label that as effluent and let me show some water coming out of here. And that would be the 2 MGD from the wastewater, the effluent. So that's going to be a Q value because it's a flow commonly used in water and wastewater treatment. So we know Q for wastewater is going to be 2 MGD. What else do we have? We have the ultimate BOD. That ultimate BOD is going to be the S value. So S means BOD. That's from the FE handbook. So we're going to stick to that and say that the S of wastewater, the BOD, the biological oxygen demand is 40 milligram per liter. So we're done with that. Now we're told into a river. So what's going on here is we discharge it with that pipe into a river. So the river we can draw like this. So this is our flowing river somewhere here. And we know it flows at some flow rate and they give us that flow rate. So the flow rate of the river right here, let's say this is going to be Q for the river is 20 cubic feet per second or CFS. So let me write that here. Cubic feet per second equals to CFS. So that's that. Then we're told just upstream from the discharge point. So no, just upstream from the discharge point. When they say upstream, the discharge point is where? Here, this is where we discharge the wastewater. Upstream would be up to that, so up here. So it would be here. This is upstream, this is downstream to the discharge. Again, discharge point is here, this is upstream, this is downstream. So just upstream to the discharge point, the BOD in the river has an ultimate BOD of three milligram per liter. This is for the river. So just upstream, that BOD right here is gonna be the S for the river, is going to be how much? That's going to be three, three milligram per liter. So three milligram per liter for that. Let me write that. And we know that's again for the river BOD. Now the deoxygenization constant K sub D is estimated to be 0.22 per day. So this right there is important. If we use, let's say the BOD exerted formula in the handbook, 
In this case, that's actually not applicable, but we'll see why that KD, let's just write that. Sometimes we use variables, sometimes we don't. In this case, we'll see why this is not important. Keep in mind, we would use this for other types of problems using that formula in the handbook. So now we will say, assuming complete and instantaneous mixing, the ultimate BOD of the mixture of waste and river just downstream from the outfall is most nearly what? We said downstream is what? With respect to the discharge is right here. So what we're trying to do is find the ultimate BOD of the mixture when we have the waste and the river, because we know the water that comes out of the effluent goes into the river, it mixes with the river, and then when it goes into that river, we have a certain BOD concentration. And I'm gonna denote that in this color, that's what we're gonna find, the BOD of the mix. That's really it. That's what we need to find for this one, and that's the question right here. So this is our find. That's the big question. So how would we find that? How would you go about solving this? So notice you can do a few things. You Maybe you would be like, let me take the average. 40 plus three divided by two. That's not right. That would be incorrect. That's a simple way. But since we have flow rates and since we have their BOD, each flow rate has the respective BOD, we do the weighted average. A classic formula we use, we see that in water resources a lot. In fact, we see this a lot for water quality and water treatment and wastewater in general. Anytime we have mixing, it could be dissolved oxygen, it could be BOD, it could be salt concentration, it could even be the temperature. For example, let's say instead of the BOD, instead of the S values, we had dissolved oxygen, temperature, and so on, we can use the same approach to find the mixing temperature, to find the mixed dissolved oxygen, mixed salt concentration, a very common formula we use and it's based on the weighted average. So what we will do is write that formula and we will say that the BOD of the mix is going to equal to our concentration times the BOD, the BOD concentration times the flow for each one. So how this would look is going to be the Q for the wastewater times the S for the wastewater, S is BOD, plus the Q for the river times the S for the river, and then we take all of this divided by the summation of the flow. Always take it with respect to the summation of the flow. So it's gonna be Q wastewater plus the Q river. And that's really it. That's the formula we have to know to solve this. So what we'll do next is start plugging numbers in. So Q wastewater, we know that's two MGD. That's given, so we will put that in here as two MGD. 2 MGD, MGD means million gallon per day, times the S for wastewater, that value we know, so that's gonna be 40 milligram per liter, put that in, and then we take this plus the Q for the river, so the Q for the river is going to be 20. So we go in here, put 20, but units don't match, that would be a mistake. Maybe you'll get one of the answer choices if you did that. So notice the 20 is in cubic feet per second. This is in MGD. Units have to cancel. All the concentrations or BOD have to be milligram per liter and the flow has to be the same units, whether it's CFS cubic feet per second or whether it's MGD. For this one, I'm gonna keep them all in MGD, million gallon per day. So what we need to do is convert this QR to million gallon per day. And the way we do that, the fast way, I'm gonna show you the fast way for this FE exam is using this conversion. We will say that one MGD is equal to 1.55 CFS, cubic feet per second, all the time. All the time, this will work. So rather than doing it the long way, which you can do, if you prefer that, you can do it that way, where you convert cubic feet per second to gallons, then you convert seconds to, let's say, hours, hours to days, or seconds to days, there is a conversion for that. You will still get the same answer, very close to this answer that we're about to get. 
But I'm going to do the fast way and I want you to know this conversion because we see it often when we deal, with, especially with US units, million gallon per day and CFS. We can go back and forth between the two. So what it, we will do in this one is take that 20 CFS and say that 1.55, there's 1.55 CFS cubic feet per second in one MGD. And that allows me to get the MGD value because these cancel, then we will get that value to be close to, let's see, close, what did I get? 12.9, 12.90 MGD. So that would be 12.9 MGD million gallon per day. So that's the value we will use for QR. So we put that in here as 12.9 MGD. Then we take this times SR, that's already in milligram per liter. It looks good. If it wasn't, we have to convert that, but that looks okay. So three milligram per liter, take all of this, close that. And then we take all the stuff on top, divide by the stuff on the bottom. You're just taking the summation of the flow to MGD plus the 12.9 MGD, 12.9 MGD. And notice now what we will get is the BOD for the mix. So we're going to get the mix BOD and doing that, we get 7.96 milligram per liter when we do the math. And we're going to say most nearly round this up, we're going to get eight milligram per liter. And that right there is our answer. So we go up top and pick B for this one. Thank you for practicing with me today. If you like this problem and you're looking for more practice problems to go through as you continue with your FE exam prep that break down every single step for you, just like what we did in this video, where you have access to a lot more problems, quizzes, and a full length practice exam, and most importantly, where you have my unlimited support. Anytime you get stuck on anything, have a question, or just need the extra push or the extra help in hand, I'll be there. I'm gonna be there until you pass your civil FE exam throughout your whole journey until you get this thing. Check out the link below for my civil FE review course. Thank you for your practice. I wish you all the best and I'll see you in the next video.